yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey guys, it's she. I'm back today with another video. There's a lot going on right now. Burning cats, dogs whatever else can fall from the sky like it is really coming down out there Mackenzie wanted to spend another night at her friend's house so that leaves me here alone again what I'm doing is working on getting some of my items um, cleaned up and tagged for availability at the antique mall y'all it's just so much right now my house is a disaster there is everywhere at first I used to think I was crazy but it's like everyone else who does the same thing that I do says their house is a mess too and I think that's what happens when you're like switching over from the holidays I'm upset because I missed out on that holiday traffic of people traveling out of our city to go back home I left my Christmas tree up in the antique mall so probably about the six which is a long time okay you know right after the holidays people are still kind of especially like ours is a military town so people are like traveling here to visit family and friends and then like going back to where they are and then they like to shop on their way out so I wish that I would have had my booth kind of redone before January 6th because leaving a Christmas tree up that long was like a really long time putting up a tree I don't think I would do it again inside of the antique mall because like I only sold about seven ornaments so it was just like a lot of effort for that I'm just not doing that kind of Christmas anymore I'm gonna really just try to repurpose items that I get from the thrift store that can kind of be used throughout the winter season okay like snowflakes <laughs> you know that kind of stuff like and you know it gives me a longer window to sell those products because just doing Christmas stuff like oh my god I always get left with so much of it for example guys I'm gonna show you what I mean I have artwork and it's from I think that was from at home no Hobby Lobby and then these were from Ikea and I just printed these off the internet like I literally just took some Ikea frames and that natural wood color I just printed out the winter definition I have a little bit of um I don't know if that's cypress I don't know what plant that is and then over here I just have some mittens so because <laughs> I just did winter things I'm not gonna have to replace them so that's the kind of Christmas I'm gonna do next year at the antique mall so guys I'm on a kick of painting everything black and y'all probably think I'm nuts because I used to paint everything white but I got this big huge vintage mirror for $120 like I don't know like six months ago or something and I couldn't figure out what to do with it and something just kept saying paint it black paint it black and then it has this beautiful stand that goes with it it's a huge mirror so I'm just gonna distress it up and put some clear coat on it like if I start out at what I really want then there's no room to give somebody a deal you know what I mean so I want the customer to be happy I want to be happy I work really hard like going to pick up this heavy smear <laughs> and then I painted it and then I'm gonna be distressing it you know what I mean and then I have to pick it up and take it to the antique mall like there's a lot that goes into this and I have to pay commission at the antique mall I have to pay rent so I have to price my items at a place where you know I can make some money and put it in my pocket I can pay the antique mall I can make the customer happy with a discount I mean you gotta have some wiggle room in the prices so I like to just mark my prices up a little bit higher um <clears throat> and I feel like I'm justified in doing that because I'm giving my customers great quality and unique items that they can't find anywhere else and I've taken the time to paint them so anyway guys as you can see my house is a mess um I had about six pieces of furniture in here it's bad it's really bad and then over here in the kitchen these are all of the clothes so I have a rack that all the clothes are gonna go back on. I got art here that needs to go to the thrift store. But honestly, the easiest thing for me to do was just to like throw it all in my house, organize it, and I can see what I'm going to donate. 
what furniture needs to be painted it's painted within like two days and then goes to the antique mall i'm just really trying to get organized <laughs> because my life has been a mess since i started um this whole business and a lot of it just has to do with organization so i bought these um bookcases from ikea these are the billy bookcases and i even bought the glass doors that go on the front of it and then on the bottom they have some hidden storage so i thought the shelves would be a good idea because i can photograph them like how pretty is a photograph of that you know what i mean and then have this cute little vintage style butterfly dish vintage butterfly glasses so i can take pictures of the items after they're all cleaned up if they're going to the antique mall i can put a price tag on it these i'm going to just be selling on facebook marketplace it's like everyday decor sells really well on facebook marketplace so i love just picking up a good deal on something and um passing that on to the customer um i have like some pewter i'm not going to be taking any pewter to the antique mall right now because um, I'm doing like brassies, brasses and golds right now, so I don't really need anything silver. But aren't these really cool? They're made in Germany. When I went to the antique mall, there was so much of my stuff that didn't have prices on it. And that is so annoying. I know when I go in somewhere and there's no price tag, I just, I'm not buying it. I'm not taking this up to the front, asking how much it is, especially not in a place like that. So I know that my customers felt that way about me. So today I took a lot of time. Um, I brought in two items that I painted. I'm rubbing an Oreo in case y'all wondering what I was doing. But um, I put price tags on everything. I also went through and kind of like decreased the prices on some things because unfortunately, like online, I can get a lot more money than for, you know, what I can get locally. So I was putting like online prices and they were a little bit outrageous, I'm not gonna lie. So my thing is, I don't mind like, you know, if somebody buys it for more online, then I'm happy because I'm getting the true value. But locally, if I put those online prices, no one's gonna buy it. Like, you know, especially not for the stuff that I have. So I'm trying to get things that are more like antique and then I also want to, and I've been finding some really good antique stuff at the thrift store. For example, like I found this desk. It's 19th century. It has beautiful hepal white knobs on it. So hey, I'll be finding some antiques and it's like my eye is becoming more trained. But I want to get more antique items to draw people's eye in. You know what I mean? Like my booth is called Antique-ish. I finally named it but you know like I want to have some true antiques in there and then I want to have things that are antique-ish that way I get everybody you know what I mean so I can have this antique desk painted in these modern colors and then there's like real antiques on it you know what I mean mixed in with the faux antiques so it's just like a little bit of something for everybody so these two vases are like the perfect example okay so this vase is actually from Pottery Barn and it's just like that urn, like modern shape that everyone's loving right now. So I already painted one of these and took it to the antique mall and left it just this satin um, black color. But for this one, since it already has like a crackled effect, it was red when I bought it, guys. So I painted it black and then I have like this lighter brown color that I'm going to be um, dry brushing and rubbing in to give it like a nice little aged look these things are really expensive like like they're like $99 to like 140 maybe I shouldn't put that brown on it because Pottery Barn has ones that look just like this for $99 so, so anyway we got the modern base and then here is a, a Capo de Monte right Capo de Monte made in Italy I painted it black it was so ugly I'm not done painting but it was so ugly it was so ugly and I get that these are valuable to some people but I just feel like in the black I can sell it for more money because it'll probably go with someone's aesthetic and it really is vintage but it's dope now you know so anyway guys make sure you put prices on your items at the antique mall like please do it because you're gonna have so many people that want to buy something and price tags are like our silent little salespeople, okay? 
So if we don't have our silent salespeople working for us in our absence, we're gonna miss out on sales. So anyway, guys, I went through the booth today. I think every single item has a tag. I lowered prices and I did some merchandising, some really beautiful like organizing of my items. Um, I need to figure out what I'm gonna do as far as lighting. It's pretty bright in there. But I want some type of lighting. I was thinking like the string Edison bulb lights, but then that's so overdone. So I want to do something that is really unique. So I'm going to figure it out and then I also need a rug. Anyway guys, thank you for watching this video. I'm going to see y'all in the next one. Bye.